Hi, this is Bill. I want to tell you basically how to, I went about creating um, a project in Erasma. And so um, to get started with Erasma, first of all, Erasma is augmented reality, which means that when you are, it's, it's a bridge between the virtual and the physical world. And it does so through the web and through a mobile device. And so what you have is when you take a phone or a tablet or an internet connected device uh, that is compatible with Erasma and has an app for Erasma, what you can do is you can put videos, images, links, what have you over the top of a physical thing. It works really well with pictures and things like that, but it'll also work with physical objects. So I'm going to show you how I went about creating a project called Cougar Tracks um, for a grad class. And so, first of all, if you want to get started with Erasma, there, you can do the app and you can get the app and put it on your device and you can actually make auras is what they call them, which is this interactivity just with your device. But in this case, what I wanted to do was I wanted to create a channel. I wanted to have my own space where I could custom create Erasma auras. And so to get started with that, the first thing you have to do is you have to go to the Erasma website. And once you're on that web Erasma website, there's a link right up at the top here that says partners. And you have to become a partner with Erasma. Now this is free. It doesn't, there's no exchange of money or anything like that. But when you become a partner, when you click on partners, it's going to take you to this next page and you're going to click apply now. Fill out the application. They will send you an email. You know, if you're an educator, just say, listen, I'm an educator. I am interested in using Erasma for whatever your purpose is. And really, I found them, they'll, they'll create an account for you and off you go. So as soon as you have that account, you'll get a username and password. And then you'll have access to what they call Erasma Studio. And this is where you create things. So. I've already logged into Erasmus Studio, and this is the this is the home page for that. So let me tell you basically how Eras auras are created. So over here on the right hand side, let me go ahead and close this. That's just the help menu. Over here on the right hand side, you have a couple different options. First of all, first of all. I want to talk about trigger images. So this top one is trigger images. This is what you're going to point your device at to trigger the content to come up. So a trigger image, if I open up my trigger images here, you're going to see that I have a number of trigger images for different uh, schools in my district. I also have, in this case, all of the trigger images for this Cougar Tracks challenge for um, IT 580. So right here we can see this is the these are circles at Southern Illinois University and what I've done is I've said I've said, shown on a map where first of all where those circles are located on the map so that um, when students play this game they actually have to go to that space and find those they can't just point it at a picture or anything like that they have to be within like 50 yards or something of that particular location in order for the content to show up so that's the first thing is you have this trigger image and again all that is is what you're going to point your device at the second piece that's there is the overlays and so here again are my overlays for this Cougar Tracks game. And so what I have here, I have two types of overlays. I have, first of all, I have a number of different videos. And this is, um, each one of these videos is a clue. But then I also have an image. And this image is basically just says tap to see the clues. Because what I wanted to happen, we have a website that goes with this. I wanted to happen is I want students to basically point their device at whatever the trigger image is and it will play the video automatically on their phone or tablet for them. Then once that clue is done this little image that says tap to see clues will show up on their screen and when they tap that even though the even though the video told them this is what we need to th these are the clues you're looking for they're not going to remember that 
after they're done. So tapping to see the clues will actually take them to the appropriate web page to see the clues that correspond with that particular video. So we're giving them two different options. They have the auditory and then they have the written clues that they can always refer back to. Now, once you have your trigger images and your overlays put together, you actually have to create what they call the auras. And the aura is the interaction between the two of them. So, for instance, here is an aura that I have based on the SIUE picture. And so let me go ahead and turn this off. That is my trigger image. Okay. What I have on top of that trigger image, so this is what they, again, this is what they point their device at. What I have on top of that trigger image is the video that corresponds with that specific clue. So down here, so I, I have that, that clue, and down here it says I have a, an action that goes along with that. And so it says when th this overlay has finished, so when the video has finished, start a different overlay. And which overlay is that? Because at the end of the video, I want to show this little button that says tap to see the clues. Now on that particular overlay, I also have an action that says when the overlay is tapped, load a URL and it goes to the appropriate URL for that set of clues. So that's essentially how I created this system, this content delivery system inside of Erasma. Now the last thing that's pretty important is you have to actually get the content to students. Okay, and what that is is a channel. So we had trigger images, which is the what they point their device at. We have overlays, which is the video or uh, image or whatever that goes over that. And then we have auras, which is the combination, you know, combining the trigger image with the overlay. But then we also have channels. And what channels are, are channels are the container, the bucket that holds all these things and puts them together. And so here I have a channel called Cougar Tracks. And so in this channel, what you're going to see is I have all six of my auras listed here. Because when I created the aura, I just chose what channel to put it in. Now, in order to get that information out to students, I have to give them, I have to have them subscribe to it. So on this channel, it says that there's a link to subscribe. So if I click that link, it's going to pull up this URL. Now that URL is what I'm going to give students in order to start downloading the content. So th that's the that's the explanation in terms of how all of this works together, but essentially the way that we're using it for this project, it is a content delivery system. They are simply have the opportunity to interact with a physical space through their device in a virtual way. It's location based in that they can they have to be in a specific area in order to see it, but it really gives that brings forth that interactivity. So I hope that helps. If you have questions about Erasma or what how Erasma works or how to get started with it, please let me know. It's a it's a really neat system and a and a great way to get students to interact with content in a in a physical way a very engaging way and also bringing that virtual piece in as well so i hope that helps